hello guys today i am back with another video i am outside on my balcony it is nice today so i'm outside but um i'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about eating right with pcos because i've noticed that with my pcos eating right is the key to getting your hormones back on balance and that's what i've been doing for the past three weeks I've been eating right and exercising and just making sure that I check my levels. My levels have gone down, um, and I'm speaking of my testosterone. It has gone down um, significantly, and I've just been eating right. So I'm thinking of doing some meal um, prep meals, which I'm going to be um, including in my on my channel so that um, people can kind of follow along. These are going to be easy meal prep plans that you can do. Um, a lot of our, believe it or not, a lot of the hormones um, levels that we find um, in our blood that are off balance, most of it does come from the meat and the things that we eat, believe it or not. I'm trying to do a I was going to do a vegan, but I'm going to start with, I think, a vegetarian diet first. I've done vegan before. I've done it for over a year, so it's not hard, but I want to kind of slowly take my body into that. I don't want to put my body in shock, so I'm going to start with vegetarian, and then I'm going to move over to a straight vegan diet. You guys can follow along with me, like I said. Um, you can implement some of the things. You can do it all. Um, it doesn't matter. Another reason why we always struggle with PCOS, um, some women, is because of the weight gain. Um, I'm also going to be implementing exercise and making sure that I lose 30 pounds. So that's my goal, to lose 30 pounds. Um, my doctor also said she wanted me to lose some weight. So that's going to be what I'm going to be working on, losing weight eating right and getting my body healthy um, because I do want to carry a healthy baby so that's the goal primarily to lose the weight and get my hormones back on balance I have a good and my doctor said it's a hormonal belly because of my PCOS so I'm just gonna be doing things to um, get my hormones back on balance I encourage you ladies out there with the PCOS to do the same um, you don't realize how important it is to get your um, hormones back on balance and how easy it is. And just how easy it is to conceive once you have your hormones back on balance. So those are the things that I'm going to be targeting in the next few videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be talking about that. Um, I haven't scheduled my HSG uh, test yet, waiting on my cycle. So once that comes on, then I'll schedule that. I'll give you guys an update when I do schedule that. And also, I do remember that I'm going to take you guys along with me um, to do the procedure. And um, I am going to show you guys the easy at home test strips that I am using that I ordered from Amazon to follow and track my ovulation um, it makes it so much easier i'm also going to show you how i track um my ovulation i track it manually and i also track it with the app so i'm going to include a clip um somewhere on the screen i'm going to include a clip or a should i say a picture a photo of what the easy at home looks like i also um, link the description um, link the link in the description box below so that you can go on and purchase these um, at home scripts they are really affordable um, not expensive at all and it allows you to track your ovulation but that's all I wanted to talk about today guys I'm going to end the video here but I do thank you for joining make sure that you share 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 this video um, I want to reach as many women with PCOS as possible. I'm currently trying to grow the channel, so I would greatly appreciate it if you share my video. Thank you, guys, and talk to you later. Bye-bye.